What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? This is Jay Phoenix Suns and I wanted to bring you the Tag Mebo app here. It's nothing new, but I had some issues finding some information. So hopefully this video will, you know, guide you through all of that. And what we're going to go over is how to scan Amiibos in, how to scan Amiibos out, how to find Amiibos online, and how to scan them into your Flash Evo Pro update, all that good stuff. Let's start with the update because that's actually the easiest part. So what you do is you get your Flash Evo Pro. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to find which version you have. Here it's 74P. That's the highest version. That's the one with, with the ability to scan in your Donkey Kong Amiibos. And so you want to leave it on firmware update. Okay, leave that on firmware update. All you have to do is Flash Evo Pro and then the Pro firmware update. Okay, to downloads. If you follow me, it's going to be a lot easier than reading all that. Mm. Want to download? If you're on, uh, if you're on Apple, what I would recommend doing is doing exactly what I'm doing here, and then saving it to your files. Okay, so you save it to your files. I already have one, so I'm going to hit replace. Whatever. But we're going to go to done, and then there's an app that you have to download, and that app looks like this. It's so simple. It looks like this. Okay, so now that you have your, your little update downloaded, you're going to go to select. It's going to be there because you saved it into your files. You're going to click on it. Now, go back to your device. Now you're going to click on it. It's going to send it into DFU mode, so it's going to, you're going to be able to find it here. Go to select, and as you can see, it's right there at the top. The closer you get, the better connection. So you want to remember where the good connection is. So not out here, about right there. And then you click on the Flash Evo and then you hit upload and it uploads. Okay. And then after that, you'll have the newest firmware. Isn't that easy? It's really easy, you guys. Seriously, really, really easy. If you want to scan like unlimited, let's say you wanted unlimited 8-bit links because he's giving good stuff. You're only going to be able to scan it once with this. Okay. But there's a remedy to that. There's empty slots. So if you download eight or ten of these eight bit links, you're going to be able to scan, 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 you know, ten times. And so, um, you know, you can always scan it your first time. Like here, you turn it on. I think I already did, so it might not do it for me, but oh, you have to actually click on it. Okay, so there's a drop. And then, as you can see, it won't, it won't do it again. So what you do is you find the one you want. So you want to scan existing Amiibo. It's going to pop up with this. Take this and put it to the back of your phone. It's going to scan it in. Now you have, it's going to show up. Whatever Amiibo you scan is going to show up there. Okay. Now we want to write it to the NFC tag. So go to main menu, look for this NTA slot, click on it. You're going to start on 000 blank NFC tag. So now we're going to write to NFC tag. So you click on that. Take your Amiibo or your Flash Evo to the back and boom. Okay, you have a, another 8-bit link. And check this out. When you go over here, you get more goodies. Isn't that cool? And if you want to do it again, you just go down and write to NFC tag. Do it again and check this out. Boom. All day long. Same thing with this, you know, scan existing Amiibo. You're going to go here to the back, scanned, and as you can see, it pops up as Toon Zelda. So now you can go to uh, write to NFC tag and you can write it to, to uh, your NTA. But again, there's a difference. You know, you have your file folders and you have your NTA folders. So, okay. And let's say you're looking for one. Let's say you're looking for a certain Flashibo. Flash Evo, whatever they're called. So what you would do is easily, it might even have it here. So just, yeah, Midna and Wolf Link Amiibo Bin. So just go there. And there's a lot of places that have it. Yeah. So check this out. Let's say we want the Bokoblin. Okay. Again, you're going to download. Again, you have to open. Save the files right there. Going to go here. Save. Done. Okay. So now you have the Bokoblin file in there. You go back here, you import bin file, and usually it'll be like the first one. And then you open, sorry, I'm recording behind the screen, so it's kind of hard to, and there it is, Bokoblin. And then if you want to write it to this, but again, just remember, 
to, to be, I, cause reason I'm saying be, remember, be careful with this, is because I've actually written over the actual file before because I wasn't paying attention. I hit the wrong one here. So, you know, remember to go to your slot, and this is another one that I have. And then all you would do is write it to the NFC tag, put this in the back, and boom, you'd have a Bokoblin on here. The Amiibo is like unlimited, and I wanted to show you guys the trick, okay? So what I did is I wrote this tune link uh, to, to this um, first slot here. Well, it's actually technically the second slot, but check this out. So what I did is I wrote it, and then um, before that, what I did is I hit auto UID. I don't know exactly what that does, but... It helps because if you go here and now we go to uh, do this, let's go over here a little bit, check it out. We got boom, boom, all day long. You can do it with any of them. Here's the thing though, what's going to end up happening is that you can do it about three times and then after that the chests... Uh, we'll start disappearing and stuff and all that, which I don't get because it's the Switch 2 and it's like it should be able to hold a lot more on screen. But, um, and I'll show you here. Uh, I'm not going to get all the chests just for the sake of this video, just to kind of make it quick. And so what I should be able to do is go to, okay, this is my other one. So let's turn on the auto UID. And then go back to like, let's say, who was it, Rivali? And we're going to scan. But as you can see here, when it scans, yep, it'll reset at one point. But that's all you do. You got to put auto UID. Some of them will allow for like two, three, whatever, how many chests. But some of them, as you can see, will only allow for a few. So that's how you do that, guys. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Peace out.